Welcome to Bedtime History. Close your eyes and imagine you are a soldier flying high above the ocean in an airplane. Outside you hear the sound of the plane's propellers turning and strong winds rushing past the windows. It's the middle of the night and down below the ocean is dark and cold. Sitting around you are other soldiers, men and women, with dark clothes and large backpacks. They look nervous, and you feel nervous too. You check your gun and tighten a parachute which is also on your back. The year is 1944, and you are in the middle of World War II. Nazi Germany has invaded France, and its allies England and the United States are working to help France and many other countries be free again. You know if the battle can be won in France, then there might be a chance to beat the Nazis and make the world a safe place again. You look around at the other soldiers, but remember you and the others here are no ordinary soldiers. You are part of England's Special Operations Executive, Commandos, which are something like a combination of a soldier and a spy. You have trained for many months to be a commando, and finally you get a chance to help the people of France. Everyone ready? A voice calls from the back of the plane. You look out the window and see that you are above land now. This is France. You and the other soldiers stand up and walk toward the back of the plane. In the front, you see one of the most famous commandos, a woman named Nancy Wake. The back doors to the plane open. You watch as Nancy walks to the back of the plane and jumps out into the cold night. Soon you jump out too and are falling down, down toward the ground. At the right time, you pull your parachute and are yanked up into the sky. You look across the French countryside and float downward until your boots hit the ground and you roll, then hurriedly wrap up your parachute. You see the commandos running across a grassy field to the cover of trees. Someone whispers that a German patrol is nearby, so you quietly hurry on until you are hidden deep in the woods. Everyone huddles together and pulls out their backpacks. You see that Nancy is safe and are glad to have such a brave woman leading your team. You know with her help you can accomplish your dangerous and very important mission. Nancy Wake was born in Wellington, New Zealand. A couple years later, her family moved to Australia. There she went to school until the age of 16, when she left home and found a job as a nurse. Working as a nurse, she was able to save some money, and with the help of her aunt, was able to buy a plane ticket to New York City. There she learned how to become a journalist. A journalist is someone who writes stories for the newspaper. To Nancy, being a journalist was an adventure. She loved to travel and learn about new people and places. She was very curious. One of the places she visited was Austria. When she was in Austria, a very powerful leader named Adolf Hitler was becoming very, very powerful. Hitler's country of Germany was nearby Austria. In Austria, Hitler's followers, the Nazis, were hurting people they didn't like, such as the Jewish people. When Nancy saw how mean they were being to these people, she saw firsthand how dangerous Hitler was. Later, Nancy moved to Paris, France, one of her favorite places in the world. She loved the city and the people there, and eventually married a Frenchman named Henry Edmund Fioca. While Nancy was living in France, Hitler's army invaded the country. An invasion is when an army from a different country takes over another country. Hitler wanted to control France, 
but Nancy knew how dangerous he was and did everything she could to try and stop him. Nancy joined a group called the Resistance. She helped soldiers escape France and would send secret messages to help the Resistance fight Hitler and the Nazis. Nancy was very careful, and for a long time the Nazis didn't know she was helping fight against them. She was always very sneaky, and for this reason they called her the White Mouse. Her job was very dangerous, but Nancy knew that fighting against bad people was the right thing to do, so she did it anyway. The Nazis wanted to catch her so badly that they offered five million French dollars to anyone who would turn her in. Soon it was becoming too dangerous for Nancy to stay in France, so she snuck out of the country, hiding in the back of a coal truck, just before the Nazis caught her. From France she went to Spain and then to England, which was a safe country from the Nazis. Nancy could have lived a safe life in England, far from her enemies, But she knew she needed to keep up the fight to keep the world free, so she joined England's spy group called the Special Operations Executive. There Nancy was trained to be a soldier and a spy, which she was already pretty good at. But Nancy worked very hard and tried to be very cheerful. When other soldiers were sad, she made funny jokes and cheered them up. The other, the other soldiers liked to be around Nancy because of her positive attitude. When Nancy and the other soldiers were ready, a plane flew them across the ocean to France, where they jumped out of a plane and used parachutes to go down to the ground. Many Nazis were in France, so they had to be very careful and hide whenever they could. In France, Nancy and the other soldiers helped the resistance, who she was helping before. Here they helped them get guns and other supplies, blow up bridges, and find more people to join the resistance, and they even attacked a Nazi base. Nancy wasn't afraid to do dangerous jobs to help free the people of France. In order to keep in touch with England, they had to use a radio and special codes. One night, the codes were destroyed by the enemy, and the next closest radio was very far away. Most people would have given up, because it was a very far way to go. But Nancy thought about it, and decided she could ride a bike to the other radio. So Nancy jumped on her bike and rode almost 200 miles. She had to pass many Nazis along the way, so it was a very dangerous journey, but Nancy was brave and believed in her cause and did it anyway. After delivering the message to be sent, Nancy got back on her bike and rode all the way back to her team. While Nancy and her team were helping the resistance fight the Nazis, The Allied forces of England and the United States and other countries fought Hitler and his army until chasing them out of France. It was a victory! Nancy was excited to see France free again and proud to have been one of many to help make it happen. After the war, Nancy was awarded many medals for her bravery during the war. Later, she wrote a book about her adventures during the war and called it The White Mouse, and it became a bestseller. She moved into a hotel in France, where the owners and others helped take care of her because of all she had done to help their country. Nancy Wake's bravery inspired many women and men for years to come. Like Nancy, you can do things even when you're not sure how they'll turn out. Sometimes we just want to do the things we already know about. This is called staying inside our comfort zone. But it's also good for us to get out of our comfort zone and try new things like Nancy did. We can also stand up for what we believe in, even when it might be scary. If you see someone picking on someone else, you can tell them that this is wrong and stand up for them. 
You might not feel like you can be like Nancy, but remember, even she was a child once just like you. If you like this episode, be sure to subscribe so you can be notified of future episodes. We also have lots of videos on YouTube, so be sure to search for Bedtime History on YouTube. And if you subscribe to our channel, you'll be notified when future videos are released.